everybody, this is Angela from A Cat Among Books, and I first off want to apologize for my absence. It's basically due to the fact that I haven't been reading as, as much as I've been in the past, so I really haven't had the heart to make any videos. Um, so to get started, today's video is actually going to be my summer long book haul, because even though I haven't been reading a whole lot, I have been buying a lot of books. Such is the life of a book addict, of course. So, let's get started. The first books I have to show you, the first one is what everyone has been talking about since July 31st, and that is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is a play that was written for the stage uh, in London. And I just started reading it when I got it um, August 2nd. It, I like it, but I don't love it. It's probably been about a good 15 years or more since I was reading the Harry Potter books back in 2011, uh, 2001. And I don't know. I don't want to say that I've grown out of them because I haven't. It's just... And I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews on Goodreads as well that I think kind of back up my statement as far as I like it. It's interesting because it's about the next generation of kids, you know, from Harry and Ron and Hermione and, and, and Draco Malfoy and everything. And that is appealing, but I, I don't know. I, I still love the Harry Potter books, but this is, I'm just not feeling it. I am going to complete it, but I don't know. Okay, uh, the next book I have to show you is a middle grade book called Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library, and this is by Chris Grabenstein. And I'm liking it. It's got a, a Willy Wonka Night of the Museum vibe to it, which is really cool. And yeah, I just started it yesterday, and I'm already on chapter 12, and it's really cool about these kids that get a chance to compete in a contest and this new library that's opened up in their town, and... Seems like a, a, a lot of uh, craziness ensues. They're all competing for the grand prize or, or with all this different trivia and books and everything like that. So I'm having fun with it. And I guess there's another book that just came out recently called Mr. Lemoncello's Library Olympics. So I'm going to have to check that out after I'm done reading this one. So, I do have a major, major, major book haul for you. That I've been collecting these books from June now through August. Mag Magonia, I think it's called, by Maria de Havana Headley. And a book by Emery Lord called Open Road Summer. I've heard a lot of good things about this contemporary and I really want, and I heard she's a really great author, so I really want to get into her books. The author of the Across the Universe series, Beth Revis, just put out a new book called A World Without You and I really loved her writing. I love the Across the Universe series, so I'm really looking forward to jumping into this book. The next two books I have to show you are The Kiss of Deception. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. It's historical fantasy. And I did pick up The Heart of Betrayal, which is the second book in the, the trilogy. I think it's just a trilogy. Um, I think there's a, a new book that just came out. It's called The Beauty of Darkness. So I really want to, I'm liking historical fiction, um, I haven't read a whole lot of historical fiction. Um, Queen of Shadows isn't really historical, it's more fantasy, so, yeah. Alright. One of my favorite authors here, Colleen Hoke, she read the 
she wrote the Tiger's Cruise series. That is like one of my all-time favorite books. That is like at the top of the list. Below that is Mortal Instruments. Um, she wrote a Egyptian series. This is the second book called Recreated. Her first one is called. Her first one is called Reawakened, and it's about this girl in New York who loves to go to the museum and hang out, and one day she happens upon this guy who is dressed like a, uh, someone from the Egyptian times, and I guess she has to help him break a curse and get back to his original time. I, I believe, I haven't read it, but I, I'm really looking forward to. So yeah. The next books I have to show you are some contemporaries. The first one I have here is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Baxbaum. The Geek's Guide to Unrequited, Unrequited Love by Sarvenas, Sarvenas Taz. I'm sure I butchered her name so I apologize. I love travel books. I really, really love them. Um, Gail Foreman's book, Just One Day and Just One Year. I love them very much. This is one that is called One Pair of Summer. And this is by Denise Grover Swank. And it's about a young girl with her brother who traveled to see their estranged father who lives in Paris. Who is going to be married and... The girl is going to be having a new uh, stepsister, so it's all about her. She's a piano prodigy, I believe, so I'm really looking to diving into this. Okay, this book is called All the Fields by Danica Stone. Uh, it's about a young girl who likes to write a lot of fan fiction and apparently one of her favorite um, comic book character guys the, the writer the character ends up dying so she tries to revive him through writing fan fiction about him and her writing turns out to be a big hit so this one looks like it's gonna be fun for all those people that like to fangirl about you know book characters The next one here is a school for unusual girls, and this is by Kathleen Baldwin. The next three books I have to show you are by Maureen Johnson, and these are more of a YA mystery type book. It's The Name of the Star. The second book is The Madness Underneath. And the third book is The Shadow Cabinet. The next three books I have to show you are by Miranda Ken Kennelly. I believe her name is. And I started getting into her books. Her first book I read is called Breathe Annie Breathe about a girl who loses her boyfriend. Who he passes away, and it's not really revealed till the end of the book how he dies, but he was um, practicing to run in a marathon, and she wants to be able to run in a marathon, you know, in his honor, because he wasn't able to do a 26K marathon. So, and this is really great about this girl, you know, she's overcoming the loss of her boyfriend, and she's challenging herself, and she meets some really great, wonderful people who encourage her to keep going and keep training to be in this marathon. So while I was at a bookstore, I saw some of Miranda's other books, and I decided to get them. We have Racing Savannah, Jessie's Girl, and her newest book that just came out called Defending Taylor. Alright, let's see. And the last few books I have to show you 
uh, Cassie West, her newest book just came out called P.S. I Like You. We have Girl Against the World by Paula Stokes. Rachel Tours, another contemporary, On the Road to Find Out. It sounds kind of, reminds me of um, Breathe Annie Breathe with the, the running and stuff like that. And the last book I have to show you is by Nina LaCour, and it is Everything Leads to You. Alright, well there you have it. There is all of the books, a good chunk of them, that I have bought through the course of, from June to August. So... If you want to in the comments below, just let me know if you've read any of them or if you have any recommendations what book I should start first. Alright, now I am not going to promise I'm going to do a video every week. I would like to, but I don't think I have enough material to be able to do that. I could do some book reviews on books that I've read, so just let me know what you would like to see. Alright, you all have a wonderful weekend.